Now these first stairs are vital, especially when you're coming down, you've got to watch every step because otherwise you can step into space and you're thinking at the bottom, you're not until you, you land and drop, jar your back. It's a spider stone staircase, it leads straight up into the organ chamber. Yeah, there's not much of an Andrew on the way. Hello, I'm Bill Insult, the organist of St. Michael's uh, and All Angels Norton, uh, near uh, Stockton on Tees, of course. Um, I've been here 35 years. <laughs> As you realise there, I was playing something normally not played on a church organ, but I played theatre organs in my younger days, and all the theatre organ was, was a church organ with a bit of tremolo, a few trems on it, and uh, a few toys of course, uh, on, we call it the toy counter, uh, snare drum, Horses hooves, <laughs> uh, but uh, they were all in the, my much younger days, I'm coming up to 86 now, so it's a long time ago, I was only 22 then. <laughs> uh, and uh, this organ is an Abbott and Smith uh, two manual instrument, very comprehensive as far as I'm concerned, I can do, I can do most things on it that I, 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 I'm capable of. And uh, it's got seven stops on the swell organ, a six on the, the grate, but they can be coupled and you get a swell octave here. You've got also got pedal couplers that uh, if you want uh, to uh, really let the pedals speak out, uh, you pull those out. But um, the the uh, organ itself is started up by a red button up there. Uh, so, uh, sorry, the green button. <laughs> That's the one switching off the red. Green button. And you need the motor start. That's filled the, that's filled the wind chest at the back. Now, if we pull, pull the uh, six of the stops out, well, we put five out, and this is this is more or less what you get for five. If you have the piccolo, it adds a bit more rich sound to it. Great. You've got a claribel flute, flute, open diapason, four foot principal, four foot harmonic flute, a fifteenth, and a trumpet. The trumpet tends to uh, waver a bit on the, in its tuning, but it's, uh, it's it's not too bad. But uh, the lads always fix that when they come to do the service. But the the bottom two are the more or less the principal ones I use. Swell the great. on the pedals for that with that first opening bar. Don't always use that because 
it tends to uh, you drown the congregational singing and, and I, at, the, it, uh, at the time I'm with a choir here so I've got to play with the mind to the uh, who's, who's uh, singing to me pull the 15s out <laughs> This is the blower room. Uh, it provides the, the air for the chest, the wind chest in the organ. Uh, <coughs> this this uh, this little room here has a trunk, a pipe, trunking pipe that goes up through the floor and when I start the motor up it blows air up there and at one time we got uh, some chaps in, there was some asbestos in there and while they were removing that they unbolted the, the uh, blower off the floor and managed to tear the membrane of the, uh, the blower from the blow to the uh, the trunking, so I'd have that replaced. Anyhow, that was replaced, and I nailed some carpet to the door, so to keep to deaden the sound a bit. appreciate the fact that you've taken the time to come to St Michael's and have a look at this instrument. And <laughs> but uh, yeah, yeah, thanks for coming and having a look at our instrument. Thank you. Yeah, yeah. Not too many, uh, that leads you to the belt so much. Yeah. I've never been up there, I've got no head for heights. Oh, I've been up there. Have you? I have. Oh, cool. Got more good than me, though. <laughs> <laughs> I, uh, I brought me back one and off the lot. <laughs> oh, yeah. I know all that. I was no fancy coming down on that end. No, I bet. Nice. Don't forget, watch every step, even the last one, for a while. <laughs>